the role of differential equation is describing continuous time system is played by different equations for this fit time system the general and order linear constant coefficient difference equation of discrete time system configuration is given by the following expression where coefficient a k and b k are real constants the order n refers to the largest delay of output y n in the equation and it must be larger or equal to m which refers to the largest delay of xn in difference equations um, if the difference equation has one or more terms a k the, dif uh, the difference e uh, that are non-zero okay the a k is the terms that are non-zero the difference equation is said to be recursive on the other hand if all of the coefficients a k are equal to zero the difference equation is said to be non-recursive difference equations provide a method for computing the response of systems y n to an arbitrary input x n before these equations may be uh, solved uh, however, it is necessary to specify a set of initial conditions. For example, with an input x n that begins at time uh, k equal to zero, the solution to this equation at time e uh, k equal to zero depends on the value of y n minus one, and so on, which is past input. Therefore, this initial condition must be specified before the solution for k equal or larger than zero may be found. When these initial conditions are zero, the system is said to be in initial rest. Similar to continuous time case, the solution of the equation and all properties such as linearity, causality, and time invariance can be developed. Uh, following an approach that directly parallels to the discussion for differential equation. So, there are few methods to solve the difference equation such as Z transform, impulse response and convolution sum, as well as state space analysis. So, in the latter topics of discrete time linear time invariant system, it will involve second order difference equations such as the following. Uh, in the analysis as well as in the design of system, it is desirable to classify the system according to the general properties that they satisfy. In fact, the mathematical techniques that we develop in these and in subsequent chapters for analyzing and designing discrete time systems depend heavily on the general characteristic of the system that are being considered. For this reason, uh, it is necessary for us to develop a number of properties or categories that can be used to describe the general characteristic of systems. A discrete time system is called um, static or other term is memoryless if its output uh, at any instant n depends at most uh, on the input sample at the same time but not on past or future samples of the input in any cases in ad any other case the system is said to be dynamic or to have memory if the output at any instant n is dependent on past or future input or output so in this example, describe whether the system expressed by the following equation is static or dynamic. So this system is dynamic because the output y n not only rely on present input x n, but also rely on past input 3 x n minus 1.